in a generational transition, who has the power? Which generation has the power? The older generation. Yeah, the seniors do. And the seniors have the power to decide who is the next leader or leaders, when it happens, how it's going to happen. They have that power. And then when they give it up and it goes to the next generation, what happens to the seniors? They're supposed to be there? You think so? Rana, you, you think, yeah. In what way? So, to advise. To advise, right. So they may not be running things anymore, but they should still be around to advise. And hopefully in respected advisory roles as elders who have a great deal of experience, right? That's the ideal that we, that we hope for. But largely, you've got one generation has power, the other generation wants it. The other generation gets it, and then the senior generation moves on to hopefully advisory roles. But then what we're missing here is that there's a period of partnering. It's not, that, it's not a light switch. I have the power, you don't. Now you do, I just turn the light switch, and I'm out, okay? Thinking more about partnering across generations is key, and it hasn't really been very much a part of our thinking about succession. There's been too much of the light switch mentality, in my view, about how these transitions work.